So in my last video, I actually did the baby Groot planter and while I was working on that, it kind of occurred to me that because it had the holes in the back of it, for drainage, I needed to do something to catch the water. So I figured something out and stick around. You'll see what I did and how I did it. I hope you enjoy it. I'm Ron and this is my place. Welcome back, I'm glad you stuck around. So what I basically did was I usually use pretty cheap ugly dishes uh, to put pots in. Um, not that I plant grow too many plants because I usually kill them. I'm actually just glad my kids survived because I can never remember to feed water the plants so I don't know how my kids made it. <laughs> but a few of them stick around, the plants, not the kids. Kids are all gone um, on their own. Anyway, uh, so I wanted to make a dish, but I didn't want to just make a plain blah dish. I could have gone to Thingiverse, but of course I've been getting more and more into Fusion 360, so I figured let's pop in there, see what we can do, and then maybe I can throw a few of the ideas in there of the guys and gals that were giving suggestions on some of my videos on how to actually get my logo onto a, a, a different plane. Um, good news is I managed to make it work. Bad news is it never really was the way they suggested, um, probably because I'm just doing it wrong. But so then I came up with this. And I think it turned out really, really good. Uh, so good in fact that I kind of don't want to use it for, <laughs> for, for a pot. So. My thought was at first I wanted to do just the pot and then I wanted to have a nice profile on it, so a little uh, saucer so it looked really good and then I was like okay well now I got the, that I might as well put something on it because I was thinking the plant planter going down well we know that there's going to be a lot of water in here and I figured it would just get all nasty and mess up the pot. So I wanted to have something to kind of raised it up a little bit and then I figured that was a perfect time to figure out my logo and get the emblem in there which seems to have worked really well and I think it looks absolutely awesome. So then when I went to go print it and I'll show uh, what I, how I did it in uh, Fusion 360 uh, right after this but once I had it all in there and printed I thought it would be really cool to have the colors right so I printed it with the base the yellow part is maker geeks um raptor yellow pla it's only yellow i had other than uh pet g um so i went with the with the raptor which is kind of a more of an industrial if you will or engineering type of a pla and then on t uh, then i raised that and where it extruded up i did i used actually prusa control for this now two things first off this was printed after I went to release five of the firmware and I turned the sensor for filament detection on. They didn't say they changed anything, but I went through the whole print and had zero false detects. Jury's still out, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll keep testing that. But it, it is release five. I did a full XY cal and redid the layer height, yada, yada. I went through all of that. Um, just to see how it went. Didn't really see a few things different, I guess. The, the way the filament loads and unloads is a bit different. Um, there's an auto timer now. Um, and I guess a few other things. Uh, nothing really huge jumped out yet. Uh, I guess they also turned off uh, linear advance, uh, which we'll see how that impacts the prints. So anywho, on this one I decided to go with Prusa Control because really I wanted to change filament and I didn't want to stick around because I was kind of busy this afternoon trying to do stuff. So I threw it in Prusa Control because it has built-in layer uh, color change in it. I really wish they would put that into Slick 3R Prusa Edition. I don't know why they don't. Because uh, otherwise you have to pull, take it there, drop it in, or make... Ugh. Bruce Control does really, really nice. So that's what I did as I just kind of slid it up till I got to the to the extrusion part for my logo. 
put a layer or a filament change in and as soon as it got past that a layer or two I put another one in and so I could get all the colors in there and it actually is beautiful as you can see it is just absolutely flawless granted it's not the hardest print in the world um, but it's mine <laughs> It did not exist in the in this world until I created it and printed it. And to me, that's what making is all about. Um, doesn't it matter that it's not super crazy fancy. It's fun. It was awesome, and it works as designed. If that's not going to look cool, I don't know what will. So there you go. I will uh, do a quick run by and see if I. Uh, can show you how I made it in Fusion 360. We'll see if I can actually get myself to use it for the pot because I think it would look really good on that wall over there. Um, I don't know. Let me know down below. Tell me what you think. Should I use it for the pot or should I use it for the wall? Just don't know. Anyways, thank you much. I appreciate all the input from everybody. Um, I'm still learning. Hopefully I can... Uh, Pass on a few tidbits and save you some pain. Thanks for stopping by. Again, take a look. And this is how I did it. Okay, so the first thing I did when I was going to make this pot was I remembered back to Angus making a movie or a video about uh, using a revolve. So I went ahead and made a sketch on the plane and made sure that the Z was up. Um, as you can see over here, uh, I may, wanted to make sure the Z was up so it would have a chance at setting right on the uh, on the bed when I printed it. And uh, so I made the uh, sketch, and the first thing I did was I actually just pulled out a little sketch of the profile that I kind of envisioned um, from the center point here um, as the origin out um, halfway, basically. And at that point, all I had to do was go up to uh, uh, I think it's under I can never find this stuff um, create un, did a revolve and when I did that it suddenly I had a bowl um, which was it was th literally that easy um, and then the very next thing I'm going to shut the sketch off now that I did was um, I copied over from a previous drawing my logo and copied it onto the the plane here at the top so then as I extruded it out and then after I extruded it I then grew it in size so I used a uh, um, oh I think it was a modify scale and once I did that I had to split everything apart so I could actually recenter it and once I centered it onto there, and I'm sure there's a million better ways to do this, uh, but it just kind of all worked for me. And then I extruded it a little bit more and added some appearance with the uh, with the appearance library here to give it kind of a a look of plastic with the black on the on the face. And that's literally all I did. Uh, it took really no time at all. It took a little bit longer trying to figure out how to uh, get the the logo there and then resize it and recenter it and whatnot. Um, I think if I would have copied it here and did like a point origin and then uh, resized it, it probably would have stuck there and gotten bigger. But maybe I'll try that on the next one. Anyways, that's how I did it and hope it helped a little bit. So that's what I did. Uh, it worked for me. It's probably a million to ten what ways to do it easier but I mean it was pretty simple draw your little profile revolve it around extrude um, copy in the logo yeah it was it was really simple um, but it was fun thanks for stopping by I do appreciate you watching have a great day and if anybody has any ideas for videos please don't hesitate to put them down below um, try and see what I can do have a great day. Print everything you can.